formation. No blockers. One, two, three, Jackson four, back. five. Ball is snap. Jackson has it. He's smothered back on his own 45-yard line. And he fumbles. There's a big pileup down on the field. I believe, yes, they did. Horton recovered the fumble. Ladies and gentlemen, so far in this ball game, young Jackson has not been anything like his father, believe me. But then two Thorntons had their troubles. They're now going to have to go into punt formation and kick. It's Phillips back in punt formation. There's the snap from center. Gets off a long spiral kick that comes down the field. Jackson waits for it on the 20-yard line. He's caught it. He's off. There he goes. 25, the 30, the 35. He's in this field. Jackson is still on his feet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jackson is running the wrong way. He's back to the point of 40. The 30. 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 The well, folks, they're taking Junior Jackson out of the ball game and putting Bill Baker back in. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, Junior Jackson is nothing like his father. He'll win ball games, perhaps, but I'm afraid for the other team. This has been the worst day of my life. How could my own son do this to me? It's not all Junior's fault. Anne, you see before you the mere shell of a man. A man who has devoted his entire life to his child. Look what happens. He makes a touchdown for the other team. Is there no justice? Oh, don't be so dramatic. It's only a football game. Only a football game? Out there in front of all of my old classmates, in front of 20,000 students, the son of jarring Jack Jackson disgraces himself. Is there anything worse? Yes, he could have been a criminal. Well, that wouldn't have been so bad. But at least we could have sent him away and no one would know. Jack, I'm not going to stand here and have you berate Junior. He probably feels bad enough. Anne, are you sure he's our son? Oh, stop it, Jack. He was born at home. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't even got the satisfaction of thinking they might have switched him on us in the hospital. Junior Jackson, what are you doing in this empty stadium at night without your coat on? You'll catch your death of cold. I'm sorry, Mother. Junior, I'm worried about you. Do you still want to play football? I like it, but I guess I'll never get a chance now. The coach will drop me from the squad. Gee, today I disgraced everybody. Son, listen to me. You were at a disadvantage. It isn't the easiest thing in the world to be the son of a great athlete. A prominent father's the biggest drawback a boy can have. Don't I know? So from now on, your father will not dominate you. You'll be left alone to make your own decisions. I'll see to that. You're going to stop playing football, but take up your regular studies, and you're going to shower and have dinner immediately. But I don't want to... From now on, you have nothing to worry about. You can make up your own mind. You're a man. Come along, son. Yes, ma'am. Bill. Mr. Jackson wants to talk to you. Be seeing you, Jack. And thanks. Sit down, Bill. Played a great game this afternoon, boy. You reminded me a little of me. Thank you. Of course, you can't pass like me or run like me. You don't hit the line like I used to. But you reminded me a little of me. Well, there'll never be another you, sir. Thank you, son. Bill, you remember the proposition I made you? Mm -hmm. Coach Wheeler is dropping Junior from the squad. But our deal is still on. 
But, Mr. Jackson, you don't understand. I like living with Junior. We're getting to be great friends. You don't have to pretend. But I'm not pretending. I understand, Bill. You're loyal. You're just trying to make it easier for me. Your father should be a very happy man. I know that I would be. And Bill, you'll still get my check every month. You've lived up to your part of the bargain. Well, that's very generous of you, sir, but... Well, thank you. Coach? Yes, Bill? I was just talking to Mr. Jackson. You can't drop Junior. Why not? Didn't he say it was okay? Well, it might be okay with him, but it's not okay with me. You gotta give him another chance. Now, wait a minute. Either Junior plays or I don't play. But you don't have well, to... that's the way I want it. Now, what do you say? Getting tougher to be a coach every day. Okay. But you better be good next Saturday. Because with your methods, you're going to have a lot of talent. Don't worry. I got it. Tell you, tell you I'm through double-crossing Junior. Now, take it easy, Bill. Don't tell me to take it easy. You talked me out of it once before. I'm through being a heel. I'm going to tell him. But it's so bad for his ego. Never mind his ego. It's more honest this way. Okay. But I'll handle it. I want to break it to him gently. I don't want to shatter his confidence in himself. When are you going to tell him? Next time I see him. Good. It's the only fair thing to do. Terry, can I come in a minute? Where am I going to hide? I don't want him to find me here. Quick, in the closet. You be sure you tell him. Leave everything to me. I just came over to say goodbye. I'm leaving school. Leaving school? Why? I ran out of reasons. Today on the football field, I disgraced my father and the team. Now I'm being dominated by my mother, and she's almost as bad as my father. I shouldn't have come to Ridgeville in the first place. Oh, sit down, Junior. Let's talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. I'm a failure. Oh, don't get excited, Junior. Something will turn up to give you your confidence back. No, I'm a failure. The only reason Bill lived with me is because he felt sorry for me, and you try to help because you're a nice person. Besides, I'm a good customer. No, I'm leaving school. Oh, but, Junior, if you leave school, I'll feel very bad. You will? Yes. I like you for yourself. You do? Well, sure. And I think if you stick it out, you'll be able to prove to your father and to everybody that you're a man. Well, I could do it, Terry, if... If... Yes? If I had a girl like you behind me. I mean, if I thought that you thought I was somebody. I do think you are. You know, Terry, I've been stuck on you since the first day you sold me the robe when I was in the bubble bath. Well, I liked you too, Junior, but I've got to tell you about Bill and me. Oh, no, we can talk about Bill some other time. If you wear my fraternity pin, I won't leave school. Well, how will that help? Well, it'll give me a reason to stay. It'll be a little victory. And it'll restore my confidence. That's what you said I needed. Just wear it a little while and see if you like it. Well, okay, but on one condition, that you won't leave school. Oh, no, I won't. I'm a new man. I'm a tiger. I'm big. You're wearing my fraternity pin. I'm big. Well, you certainly told him. What did you expect me to do with everybody browbeating him? He needed someone to turn to, and this was no time to sell him more shirts. Well, what about you and me? We'll have to wait. I'll have to be Junior's girl until he builds up his confidence in himself. But you love me. Of course. This is just for Junior. Okay, just for Junior. I can't go on with this. Sure you can, Junior. It's all for you. Yeah, Junior, it's all for you. Come on, once more. Crouch, crouch. I told you a million times, use your body, your knees. I can't go on with this. Sure you can, Junior. It's all for you. Yeah, Junior, it's all for you. Come on, we'll try once more. Set. One, two, three, four, five.
up now. Developing into a great kicker. Yeah, and I'm getting more confidence, too. Maybe I'll get in a homecoming game. Sure you will. Now, don't you feel better? Oh, sure. And I owe it all to you, too. My best friends. And I'll always be grateful to you for this. That's okay. It's all for you, Junior. student body for being with us all the way. Got to break up now because I want the boys to get a good night's sleep. Yay, team! Yay, team! Yay! Hey, Bill, the coach told me I might get in the game tomorrow for a few seconds. That's great. And I owe it all to you. I'll never be able to tell you how grateful I am. Forget it, we're pals. Well, that's why I want you to be the first to know. Know what? Well, after the game tomorrow, I'm throwing a little party. I'm going to introduce Terry to my folks. And if they like one another, well, you never can tell, Bill. You might be my best man. You mean... That... Yeah, aren't you happy about the idea? Yeah, I think it's real great. I'm only sorry I can't be with you. But I have a party of my own to go to. Hey, Bill. Who is it? It's me, your boyfriend. Bill, what are you doing here? It's after hours. Just come up to congratulate the bride. Hope you and Junior... What are be... you talking about? Bill, you've been drinking and it's the night before the game. So, uh, besides drunk or sober, I know when I'm being double-crossed. What's come over you? You ought to know you planned it that way. Me, Bill Baker, 